Today, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College, a Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is Digital 2 EET 122. Today, today we're going to discuss code converters. We're going to do this uh, relatively really, uh, brief overview of it. We're not going to go into the specifics of a bunch of different types of code converters, because just like languages, there are a lot of different codes. And just like languages, you can transfer from one code to a different code to a different code to a different code. You know, just say you've got a text, a text in English, and you want to translate it to Spanish. You're going to use one type of code converter, one type of translator. But now you've got an English text, and you want to translate it to Russian. You're going to use a totally different translator. Now you got a Russian text, and you want to translate it to German. You know, so that's there's many different types of languages that are out there. Uh, there's that many factorial uh, means of translating it. Same thing with code converters. Factorial, by the way, is, yeah, it's probability. I don't know if you've gone into that yet in Math 112. But anyways, lots of different examples, lots of different languages, lots of different codes. Um, the key thing for any code conversion is to get yourself a Rosetta Stone. The Rosetta Stone is that um object i don't even remember where it was found i think it was in egypt but the key for, for the rosetta stone was that there was egyptian text text and greek text on the same stone and it was a means of translating between the two it was, it was the same equivalent text it was the it was the key i think for them to breaking in some of the old uh egyptian hieroglyphics again history is not my major i might be total bsing you but i don't know so we got to find a Rosetta Stone in between what's the equivalent um, from one code to the next. Uh, and the book uses a couple examples. Uh, I think it's gray code to binary, binary to gray code. But um, one of the ones, since we've been dealing with a lot, is BCD, binary coded decimal to binary conversion. So BCD to binary. And again, by uh, binary coded decimal is four-bit representation of digits 0 to 9. And if you want two or more BCD digits together, it implies that those additional digits have weight. Okay, so if I was to write 26 in decimal, well, in BCD, 4-bit representation for 2, 4-bit representation for, for 6, 0, 0, 1, 0, that's 2, 0, 1, 1, 0, that's 6. Okay, so the 8-bit representation, excuse me, the... Uh, yeah, they're all four bits, four bit BCD, four bit BCD, BCD. Okay, so now binary, what is 26 in binary? Well, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1, uh, 32, 64, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So these are all powers of two, takes no powers of. Uh, it doesn't take a 1. It does take a 2, 4, 8, and a 16, 0, 0. So uh, just think about that. 16 plus 8, 24, plus 2, 26. Okay, so we want to have a means of taking this BCD and putting it in that binary form. And I'm going to put another 0 there to make sure it's 8, 8-bit, eight which is 128. Okay, so we got to find a means of translating this. And the key thing is, is this guy right here. This could be represented uh, as a weight of 10. Anything in that second position, weight of 10, has a weight of 10. Anything in this first position, weight of 1. And if we had a third position over here, that'd be weight of 100, so on and so forth, weight this is the decimal place, weight of one-tenth, or 0.1. But let's just deal with this two-bit example. Oh, excuse me, two-digit example. So weight of 10. So this implies that 2 gets 2 times 10, and that weight of 1, 6 times 1, because we're dealing with 26, 2, 6. Okay? So what you got to do is develop your little Rosetta Stone. Okay, so it's easy to do this right here. Let's say B, C, D, and binary rep. is 
to make a table what these things represent. Let's keep our 8-bit example. So that's 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. So BCD 1, 2, 4, oops, and 8, because that's what you have in this first column here, the power of 1. That's a 1, that's a 2, that's a 4, that's an 8. But now what is this column right here? Well, if they have a weight of 10, it's 10, 20, 40, 80. So 10, 20, 40, 80. And if we had powers, uh, a third digit there, it'd be 100, 200, 400, 800, so on and so forth. But what is the binary representation of this column right here, this first column? Well, that's easy. One. Next one, that's easy. And you can fill in all the rest of these here. Four, easy to do. Eight, easy to do. Now I'm just going to fill in the rest of these zeros here. That's easy because the BCD and binary, same thing. Those, those powers and those columns right here, 1, 2, 4, and 8, well, the BCD equivalent, 1, 2, 4, 8. But now we get into this next one. So what is the binary representation of 10? Well, it's 1, 0, 1, 0 with these leading zeros. What's the binary representation of 20? Well, it's 16 and a 4. What's the binary representation of 40? Well, it's 32 and 8. What's the binary representation of 80? It's 64 and 16. So what you've kind of come up with here is the binary representation of BCD weights. Basically, this is your Rosetta Stone here. Yeah, these first four words, excuse me, yeah, yeah, these first four words here, they're the same. But the next four words are a little bit different in this language. So that's the key thing is, is coming up with this, this little Rosetta Stone that means of translating the two. So now what do you do? Well, just like what we've done up here is the summation of weights. All we do is, is find the uh, binary equivalent and just start adding it up. So in our example here is we've got 2 weight of 10 plus 6 weight of 1. So just take weight of 10 twice, 10, and then add it with a 6. Well, here is our 10 is a 1, 2, 3, 4 binary equivalent. 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 0, 1, 0. That's our binary equivalent. And now put our 6 in there. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a 6. Add it up. 0, 1, 0, 1. And our final carry, 1. Is that really 26? Well, 1, 2, 4, 8. 16, 32, so 16 plus 8 plus 2, 26. So that is a means of converting, just an example, one of the bazillion examples out there of code conversion. Key thing is, is finding that equivalent, that means uh, basically a lookup table. This word means that. That word means this. You might need to subtract them. You might need to add them. You might need exclusive or them. You can do these all with logic. This example right here was just adders. Okay, we are going to move on to multiplexers.